The following is a baffling conundrum to the evolutionist. Purposed and directed information exchange, orchestrating specific and intended functioning within a cell, is continuously conducted within the human genome and the DNA RNA functions that make up the human genome. As you probably know, the genome is the complete set of genetic material for any given living organism. The human genome is about three gigabases long, which boils down to 750 megabytes. This is about the same code amount that is found in the total of three Mozilla browsers. The language of DNA is digital, but it is not binary code like a computer. Where binary encoding has zeros and ones to work with, DNA has four positions, T, C, G, and A. These letters are used to represent the four informational nucleotide bases of a DNA strand. Whereas a digital byte is almost eight binary digits, a DNA byte, called a codon, has three digits. Because each digit can have four values instead of two, a DNA codon has 64 possible values, compared to a binary byte, which has 256. When you take into account that all 20 plus million species of known life and each of their subsystems and sub-subsystems are all produced within this 64 value coding language, you can see the amazing efficiency level at which the genome works. Of the 20,000 to 30,000 genes now thought to make up the human genome, most cells actually express only a very small part of the total information code, which makes sense. A liver cell, for example, would have no need for the DNA code that makes up neurons. But since almost all the cells carry around a full copy of the genome, a system is needed to define out information that is not needed. And that is just how DNA works. Just like a computer program, the genetic code is full of if and end if statements. This is why stem cells are so hot right now. These cells have the ability to differentiate into everything. The code hasn't been defined out yet, so to speak. Stated more precisely, stem cells do not have everything turned on. Over the lifetime of the stem cell, during which time it may clone or fork many times, it specializes itself. Each specialization can be regarded as choosing a branch in a tree, in which it will ultimately and finally operate and specialize. Each stem cell can make or be induced to make decisions about its future. Each decision makes it more specialized. DNA is not simply a computer programming language, but as you have already seen, there are some startling analogies between DNA and computer code. We can view each cell as a CPU, or a central processing unit, running its own kernel. As you probably know, in computing, the kernel is the main component of most computer operating systems. It's a bridge between applications and the actual data processing done at the hardware level. So each cell has a copy of the entire kernel. But amazingly, each cell chooses to activate only the relevant parts, which modules or which driver it loads, so to speak. If a cell needs to do something or call a function, it calls up the right piece of the genome and transcribes it into RNA. The RNA is then translated into a sequence of amino acids which together make up a protein for which the DNA coded. Now for the truly amazing part of the equation. This called up and coded protein is then tagged with a shipping address. This address is a marker consisting of several amino acids which tells the rest of the cell where this particular protein needs to be deployed. Once the protein arrives at its intended location, the delivery instruction is then stripped off and several post-processing steps are performed, activating the protein to now do its job. The protein is not activated until it arrives at its marked and intended location. The amazing and complex intelligent communication functions of DNA are myriad. They are too numerous to recount and explain in a short and simple video such as this. But the fact remains, purposed and directed 
information exchange is continuously conducted within the human genome and the DNA RNA functions that make it up. Purposed and directed information exchange. You decide. Random, traumatically mutated, non-purposed, accidental evolution or intelligent design? Any truly intelligent person knows the intelligent answer to that question.